there, it's James with Carps Bees, and I have a new product that I'm going to be installing on my bee veil. It's called the Easy C, and I've been waiting a while to try this out. I met the owners of this company at the Hive Life Conference uh, in Tennessee back in January, and I don't know why I didn't get around to ordering these much sooner, but I finally did. I ordered two. I'm going to put one in this style veil and one in my normal bee suit veil. So I'm really excited to do this because this screen really makes it hard to see and hopefully with a clear piece of plastic that I'm looking through, I'll be able to see much better. So if you think about, you know, looking at comb, looking for queens, looking for eggs, all that kind of stuff, I'm hoping this will really improve the beekeeping experience. So I'll take you through the installation steps. Maybe we'll do a review at the end, get some live demos from the apiary if not today. Maybe in a follow-on video, but come along. But come along, I'll show you how the install goes. All right, so this is the, the first style of veil that we're going to install this easy view on. And this is my favorite veil. And the reason is, is because it's just so easy to use. You have these straps that go kind of under your armpits. You just make sure you pull this around your neck, your collar, and that keeps pretty tight. You know, and as long as the bees aren't too ornery, this works out really well. It's super convenient, it's airy, it's quick. Now you're not as protected as a bee suit or a bee jacket. So if the bees are a little more aggressive, then I'll switch over to the bee jacket, which I'll show you in a second here. But um, it's a good option. It's the thing I probably use the most. So let me just show you what the view looks like. So this is actually what the view looks like from a beekeeper's vantage point. Again, with that easy pullover uh, bee veil. So let's take this one off and we'll take a look at what the bee jacket is like. So here we have the full blown bee jacket and you can see a much darker screen in the face there, face area. I like this because you can do a lot of things. You can unzip this, take a drink of water, zip it back up. Uh, you know, and, and you're really well protected here. I mean, this is top notch, top of the line type of bee suit. And, you know, if your bees are even a little ornery, you're going to be out there wild, tearing hives apart, looking at frames, all that kind of stuff, then this is usually what I'll wear. It's, you know, certainly a little heavier, it's a little hotter, and you do have to go through all the, you know, the motion of getting this thing zipped up. So, not as convenient as the other one, but certainly if you're in this, you want to be able to see. So, that's what we're going to install the easy C on. And if I screw it up, then you know what? I'll just buy a new hood. So and you can get the Vantage. See what I mean? You know, it's not the clearest view. So we're hoping to change all that with the, the easy C. Sure, it's, you know, imagine yourself looking up at a, a frame, you know, right here. And then just kind of take the frame and kind of put it where you think it would be that's centered. So I'm kind of thinking this is pretty, pretty centered. Yeah. And then, you know, just so I'm thinking if I'm looking, it's like this. That seems Probably right work. about there. And, you know, you can use a marker. It recommends a marker to mark the spot. But I'm just going to kind of grab here the center piece where I think it's going to be. And I, th I think that's going to work. So I'm going to kind of hold that spot, take this off. And then so again, I think that's where we're going to go ahead and mark the center point for the veil. Okay, uh, Joe, so I, I was pinching the screen here to kind of mark the center point. It looks, you know, I'm eyeballing it here. It looks about right. And uh, I grabbed uh, one of those zip tie things, one of the smaller ones. I just punched it through there so I could kind of mark that center point as I do what the instructions say which is to use a one by six okay so I have this zip tie in here just stuck through the screen to mark uh, where the center point is now I need to take this inside piece which has the basically the plastic dowels that'll connect to the outside piece here. So we need to get it inside. So I have to lift this up and redo this a bit, but 
just want to slip this inside. Don't rip anything. Give ourselves a little room to play here. There we go. All right. And again, I think the whole idea here is the importance of having a flat surface. You can kind of lay this on on the inside and just you know it's gonna require obviously a little finagling so i wonder if i can actually pull this like this there we go just kind of eyeball it again i'm using this as the center point which is probably right about there and then get the screen nice and taut And when I'm, again, I just want to kind of maneuver this into place. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> this is harder than it would seem, but I'm getting there. Okay. I think part of this is this veil is really on a curve. It's not flat. So... Is that centered? What do you think? Centered enough? I think enough to punch these little... I want to get this nice and tight. Getting there. Yeah, I'm just kind of massaging these posts, or dowels. There we go, through the screen, hold it in place. Again, I want it nice and tight. There we go, okay. So, hmm. As I look at this one more time, I'm thinking this is, this is the center point, this is not centered. So we're gonna loosen it and start over. Okay, so it took a little maneuvering here, but we have the, uh, the inside piece of the frame and the outside piece of the frame connected here. And I will say they, they don't fit snug when you put them together by themselves. So you're gonna have to probably go ahead and just do the screws here enough to hold it in place until you can get the screen cut out. And then, um, you know, take it back off to go ahead and put the plastic insert in. So we got to get this screen cut away. But actually, this is actually kind of a good step if you think about it. Because what this allows you to do is just test the position and everything. And if you do need to make adjustment, hopefully you haven't damaged the screen too much here. But literally, you know, I'm going to actually put a couple more in. I mean, let's go slow. We're not in any rush. Actually, we might just put, let's just put them all in. Why not? We're not late for a party or anything. And and I am just barely snugging these in. I'm not tightening them hardly at all. I don't want to strip them. And we're really just trying to test the fit here. So I notice a little wrinkle here. Again, that might be okay. Let's let's pull this over my head. Whoops. And we'll see how it works. And nice, they give you an extra screw. That's nice. In case you lose one. Okay. So I think we can pull our center mark out. 
take it off the piece of wood, just kind of look at this. Is it even? It's maybe a little off to the, jeez, to the left a little. Bummer. But let's see what it looks like on. Okay, so we're just, uh, you know, testing this to see how it looks with it on. And you know what? It's not perfect. <laughs> it's actually, I think, a little to the left. But is it good enough for what I need going out to the apiary? I mean, I'm thinking about field of view here, and this is a little wobbly anyway, just normally. So I'm actually thinking this is okay. Hmm. And why is it? I'm often looking down, so that get. I think I, I lowered it just a little, and again, it is to the left a little, but I think it's good enough for what I need. So I'm gonna say this one's good. So. We'll move forward with this one close enough. It's not perfect, but it's, it's, it's good enough. So let's go ahead and go to the next step. All right, so I think the field of view is right. I'm gonna give uh, each one of these screws just a half a turn, not even a quarter turn more, just to make sure they're tight before we cut. Seem to be pretty tight. And then we'll go ahead and take our razor. Try to get a sharp razor. I think this one's pretty sharp. And ah, here we go. Oh, that cuts easy. You can definitely tell this is cheaper screen material. like for the most part this just came right out Maybe a little extra Maybe a little trim of the edges here this is not a heavy-duty mesh I can tell you so there you have it mesh is out that would be an easy do, except you get stung in the eyeball. So maybe just uh, trim. We have a little excess here. So get that stuff out of your field of view. Okay, we'll vacuum that up later. So it looks good. Okay, so now we want to install this, which has a protective film on here. So we're gonna have to remove that. If you need to clean the plastic, just use hot soapy water and a very clean cloth, probably cotton is what I would go with. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside for the moment because we have to take our screws out. So. There we go. I'm using a two by six short board for this. Precariously balanced on the edge of a table per the recommendation. I think they meant a longer board. Okay. So all the screws are by setting it down with an ironing board as well. I think you just want to be careful not to cut your ironing board. Okay, so we have our piece of plastic ready. Let's see if this works. So we're going to just very gently pull. 
Oh, we forgot a screw. Goodness gracious. Jesus. Why didn't you tell me? Okay, so again, very gently lift that off. And now, very gently raise our Feeling for the holes, for the little posts. Oh, we missed one. There's no post. There it is. Okay, I think we got it. A little, uh, like the game operation. Just set these in the key positions here. All right. I think with a few, uh, a couple corners here. on the road to victory completion okay boy I'm starting to get really confident now that I did not screw this up too badly okay okay let's check it out I'm excited to uh, see the new view through my veil Make it official. We'll actually do it how I do. Oh, my nose touched it. That's funny. All right. Well, I don't have it pulled down yet. That's why. There we go. Oh, you see the smile? <laughs> that is amazingly better. Oh, that is awesome. So, yeah, the view is going to be fantastic. So, that's exciting. No more haze over from that screen. No more obstructed view. So yeah, I'm super happy with this. You know, it might not be perfect side to side. I think it's pretty good though. So yeah, let's, uh, boy, I wanna just go out and look at some frames right now out in the uh, out in the apiary. But I think we have a solution for that. Let's go over here. I can look at some of these pictures. This is the best simulated view I can give you indoors without going out to the apiary. So that's the old view. Give you a sense. And that's the new view. Much better. So yeah, pretty excited to try this out. So veil number one, so far, complete success. And not too much work to get there. So let's go to veil. All right, veil number one, complete. Let's move on to veil number two. So this is actually a jacket style beekeeping suit. So again, I think what I'm going to want to do is put this on and see where my field of vision is. And we will use this little zip tie to mark the center. Although, if I look at this carefully, it would probably be pretty easy to figure out. But let's go ahead and put it on. We've come this far. Let's not short any steps. Let's, let's follow through and do the whole thing. I always wear a hat out in, uh, these are like free product plugs here, but my dirt rooster hat, my better bee suit, Carse bees, that's me. Uh, but I always wear a hat, so you want to make sure if you're simulating your how you wear this you want to make sure you're doing it exactly how you do it outside in the apiary so this is how I would do it now I said exactly I'm not gonna zip this up because I don't think that matters that much but I'm gonna grab the frame 
and don't poke yourself in the eye. <laughs> but again, I'm simulating how I would be looking through this, you know, checking out frames. And I'm trying to think, is it better to be a little higher, better to be a little, probably a little lower in this case, now that I think about it. Yeah, because I'm not usually looking up at all. Definitely be right about there. That covers low. Yeah, I think that's it. So the nice thing about working with this bee suit is, and the way it's designed, is it, it's, you know, you could take the, the hood off completely. Um, we probably don't need to do that, but you can actually unzip the front here where we were, were actually gonna be making the cut. So that is super convenient. So we can kind of flip this back and lay this flat on here. So as we pull our frame out, this might actually make our life a lot easier. So we're looking for the, uh, the one with the posts or dowels, and that's this one. So this is the one that's gonna go on the inside. So let's make sure we don't screw that up. So definitely like this. So we're gonna, since we can just basically open the outer flap on the hood, this makes this a lot easier, I think, to install this. So again, this is just uh, to mark where the center is. And now we're gonna attempt to find that center spot. And it looks like it's about up there. So I'm noticing it's pretty close to the edge of the hood face. So I don't wanna get like right on the edge. So I may make slight adjustments. And if I do, I'll make those adjustments down as if I'm looking down, because that's what you're mostly doing when you're out in the field. So this is actually looking like pretty good right here. And this is nice, tough mesh that they use. So it's pretty impressive material. And this bee suit's impressive all the way around. Can't say enough good things about it. It's a little hard to get out, you know, with the zippers, but that's only because it's so good. So you want to be protected. So yeah, just pulling the nice strong screen. Uh, and that's it. So I think we're on it. So let's just take a quick little measurement. You know, I'm just kind of seeing you know, are we kind of even to the top here for that hole? Okay, so again, this uh, doesn't snap, and I see why now, because you want if you do need to cut inside and pull these screws out and carefully take this type, it was snapped, you probably would jostle your positioning. You don't want to do that. So we're gonna just put a few strategic screws. No, we said we're gonna put them all in. Okay, so let's put this on. So real quick, just look at it and you can kind of see. Did it look even? It did kind of pull over, didn't it? It's more over to this side, darn it. Yeah. I know I'm not gonna like that. I'm gonna fix it. All right, so it's not even. <laughs> so, we're gonna fix it, so. Okay, 
Okay, try number two. I thought this would be the easy one. This is gonna be the easy one. So let's see. Okay, how's that look? Looking down. Yeah, I think that's much, much better. Pretty even, all right, success. Let's get this thing cut out and get the screen put in. To go where no man has gone before, no, to, to cut. This is probably the most stressful part of this actually, but gotta do a much nicer screen than the last veil. Just higher quality for sure. out and then the last one here keep this on this side keep it taunt sorry about the bad camera work and here we go last one there we go voila and then we can cut this a little bit of excess away. Just don't want that junk in our field of view. Just some careful cutting. There we go. I think the rest of this is okay. Just remember, you gotta live with it, so. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Let's do a little more here. Yeah, I think it'll be good though. Okay, I'm gonna just brush away the excess screen. So just remember, it's on both sides. There you go, nice and clear. We'll carefully set this aside, frame. And the idea is don't create any stress on the screen because when we pop this outer frame off, we do not want to move anything. Keep the positioning of the screen on the posts. say that the tip about using this 2x6 is a good one. Makes it a lot easier. You can tell why they suggest that. Sorry for my hand being directly in the lens, but I just want to be careful here. Make sure we get them all out. One to go. All right. So here's the magic moment. We want to just lift that top frame off and then immediately pop on like doing operation, the game operation, remember that? Right over. Let's get it positioned. Looking for those holes. Yeah, they're starting to show up. All right. I think we got it. And then right back over. Whoop. Look at that. There it is. Carefully. I 
just finish it out, make sure everything's nice and snug. Screw number 10. And then I like just to go around and just real lightly make sure these screws are in. just a little bit so that's something we'll have to you know where it won't fog up it is a 99 degree temperature outside in here 70s it will it's but a piece of so look at that view that is great so looking up at you so I'm holding a frame up it's gonna be right level with the top so that's good here let me I have a frame I am sure I do So just to demonstrate, that's about how high. I don't usually hold them up unless I really need to get them into the sun. This is going to be perfect. Usually I'm doing this. So yeah. Pretty happy. Can't wait to try it in the field. So, all right. There's your old view simulation. And, you know, yeah, your eyes will adjust a little bit, but it definitely is not crystal clear compared to now voila amazing it's gonna be great can't wait to get out in the field and try it all right there you have it we installed two easy c b veil windows and two completely different style of veils so in the so far i mean it seems that they it works in both so uh, wasn't too difficult and you know, it was a little bit of a learning curve you got to have some patience you're not going to do this in 10 minutes okay so uh, you know I would block off probably 45 minutes to an hour per veil um, it probably took me hour hour and a half to get through both and mostly because of just rehaving to reposition not being very good about getting the initial position correct and having to make adjustments so um, follow the instructions. There's some tips in there that are really important. If you follow those instructions, it'll probably go even faster. Of course, I skimmed them. That's what I do. Uh, but I am really, really excited based on preliminary, just you know, putting this on in the basement, looking at some pictures, holding a frame up in the air and seeing what I can see. I mean, this is crystal clear compared to what you know you have to do looking through the screen here. So extremely excited to get out into the apiary and to go you know look in some hives look for a queen or look at some eggs especially that seems to be the most difficult thing so uh, so there you have it there is uh, the installation um, expect to see more of this in videos coming up perhaps we'll do like a full field review soon so maybe that'll be a part two but again thanks for coming along this journey I hope this helps you um, if you have any questions put in the comments and again this is uh, the easy C so search for that on the internet I'll try to put a link in the comments as well and order one. So great people met them at the Hive Life Conference in Tennessee back in January 2022. Uh, seemed like really good folks and you can help them out by buying one. So thanks a bunch. This is James with Carps Bees signing off for now. We'll see you out in the apiary next time. Bye.
Hey there, it's James with Harps Bees, and those are some hot, hot bees. They're out here fanning, trying to keep things cool. So we're gonna pull some uh, entrance reducers off to try to increase airflow. We might even do a split. We'll prep some boxes for splitting. I don't know, we'll just see where this goes today. But I'm a little worried about this hive getting too big. So it might be time to split it. And we're gonna test out this new Easy C visor thing and see how it works. So here we go. Okay, so what we did here is we removed all the feeder boxes. Let's see. Sandy mm -hmm. doesn't have it anymore, mm -hmm. Constantinople, mm -hmm. nor Hope. And uh, we set up some empty boxes, so let's get these girls some space here to work. So we'll see what's up. This is just stuck. Ready to bring it out anymore. Yep, that's troublesome. Okay. Let's try the other side. Worried. What about eggs? Yeah, there's little larvae. Different stages of development. Pollen, all of it. Heavy. That's got some weight. We got honey in here. That's good. Okay. And now we'll see if we have any frames we can take. This is where this view thing is awesome. I like that queen excluder. 